Yeah, the host. <laughs> I really don't like talking to people. <laughs> Every time I do, they always say the same old things. Oh, I love this, I love that. And then they go, oh yeah, I love food. Like it's a choice. <laughs> it's like, why do you love food? Oh, I don't know. Because you gotta live. It's either eat or die. Simple. Like, certain foods, you can treat as a choice. Other than that, you can't love something that you literally have to survive with. Well, I didn't want to use this joke until October, but since Menards has their Halloween decorations up, I'm going to tell you guys <laughs> about a really good Halloween prank that happened when I was a kid. So, my brother is like a huge horror movie fan, and when, when we were on little kids, well, he was, he was like a year older than me, he was like in eighth grade, I was probably third, but, so he went as Michael Myers one year, as for Halloween, and we were trick or treating. So, so well, then we went to my aunt's house, but then it was like really dark. My aunt had like, you know how those some apartments are? They have that window back there. So then my dad was like, "Why don't we, why don't we try scaring her aunt?" So my my dad helps up my brother on onto the little her back porch where the where the window is. All of a sudden, we hear a really loud. <laughs> A really loud scream. Now you're probably wondering, yeah, it's Halloween, it was dark. No biggie. Oh, it gets better. So it turns out my aunt was watching one of the Halloween movies. And as soon as Michael Myers Park came up, that's when you saw my brother. So not only is she watching Halloween, but Michael Myers is popping up in her back window. Yeah, we just had to <laughs> We had to clarify with her after that. It was all good. I don't know. I really, I really don't like most of these flight, like drinks, Gatorade. I mean, I'll drink it, but I just hate how people like, like smack their lips. Like, hey, I've been drinking Gatorade for 21 years. It's not that flavorful. Neither is Pepsi, water. None of none is flavorful, all right? For you to be smacking your lips like that, right? You're, you're just an asshole, okay? <laughs> Uh, so, so, to me, I feel like the smartest guy in like, I mean, we get debate, but we're not going to, uh, to me, the smartest guy is um, Arano Rubik, I might be pronouncing his first name wrong, but I don't know, but he's the guy that made this, the Rubik's Cube. Now, there's a lot of ways we can solve it by looking it up. I mean, people look up what bars sell White Claw, so why not let them sell a river suit? But imagine we didn't have the technology, like, without the, imagine you made it without, not, have, not being able to solve it, okay? This, the guy who made this invented it without knowing how to solve it. I'm going to solve it. Get it, son! <laughs> Fuck yeah! 
Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Woo! I just won this last year, and now I already like my best record is like 50 seconds, so. Nice! Nice! Yeah, that's not like that. I got one. <laughs>